wise up and resist hate speech. Jesus was bisexual. Many use the Bible as a hateful homophobic attack. It's an own goal. The Bible indicates that Jesus was bisexual, saying he had a special love for John. It says repeatedly that John was the one that Jesus loved. John was the only male disciple present at the crucifixion, and Jesus' last words implored his mother to regard his love, John, as his partner, their son-in-law, part of her family. Christian art shows John and Jesus physically close, embracing, cuddling, lying upon each other. James I, King of England, justified his own bisexuality with reference to Jesus being gay. Priests, bishops, philosophers and theologians have agreed. Jesus was also close to women. When Jesus was invited to dinner by one of the religious leaders, a sex worker came and washed his feet, dried them with her hair and massaged them with oil. On another occasion, he was found breaking custom and chatting alone with a woman collecting water. When judgmental men were about to stone a woman to death for adultery, he stopped them. And then there was Mary Magdalene, for whom also writings say Jesus had a special love, who he would often kiss, who was described as his partner. She too was at the crucifixion, the first at his grave and the first to experience his resurrection. His last words to her were, don't hold on to me, Mary because I have to go now. Jesus was happily bisexual. He remained unusually unmarried and clearly handled his sexuality and the sexual intimacy he shared in his relationships in a way that was responsible, respectful and caused no hurt to others. Being bi, he made no negative comments about or references to LGBTQIA plus issues. He didn't need to because he understood that God has made us as we are, and what matters is that we are loving and act with integrity. Homophobes, bigotry and prejudice set out to conceal these things and to use Jesus as a weapon to judge and condemn others, the very thing he asked us never to do. They do not realise that in doing so, they condemn Jesus just as the religious people of his day crucified him. When they do, challenge them that no loving godly person would ever choose to use the bible in this cruel way and that they should follow jesus's example who was never homophobic